imagine you are walking down a lively street in the heart of the city. The sun is setting, casting a warm glow on the buildings around you. You are excited because you have a date tonight with someone you've been getting to know. As you approach the restaurant, a question pops into your mind. Who should pay for this date? We shall be answering this question shortly. Welcome to Find Love, where we discuss everything around love, relationships, and marriage. If this is your first time coming across our video, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell so that you won't miss any of our videos from now on. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are welcome back. We appreciate you. The topic of who should pay the bill on a date has sparked countless debates and discussions. Traditional norms suggest that men should always pay for dates. That is because of the long-held belief that men are providers. But in today's world where equality and empowerment are at the forefront, is it time to rethink this age-old tradition? What are the most common mindsets about who should pay for dates? Some people believe in splitting the bill 50-50. They argue that it is a fair way to ensure that both parties are equally invested in the day. Some think it is a gentleman's responsibility to pay. To them, it shows respect and chivalry. Others question why men should always pay. They believe that women are independent and capable of paying for themselves. Another person prefers taking turns, a situation where one person pays for one date and the other person pays for the next. They strongly believe that this approach keeps things balanced and fair. Those are the most popular opinions on the subject. But the question is, is there a right or wrong way to go about this? Well, it depends. Societal norms and expectations are constantly evolving. What was once considered the norm may no longer hold for everyone. Here are some things to consider when deciding who should pay the bill on the dates. 1. Communication is key. Discussing expectations and preferences with your dates can help to avoid misunderstandings and potential discomfort. 2. Consider traditional norms. In some cultures or traditions, there may be established expectations regarding who should pay for a date. It is important to be aware of these norms and consider them in your decision-making process. 3. Financial situations differ from person to person. Always consider each individual's financial circumstances and find a solution that works for both parties. 4. Some people value equality as a fundamental principle that should be upheld. Splitting the bill evenly can contribute to a more equitable dating experience. 5. Special occasions or gestures. On certain occasions such as birthdays or anniversaries, one person may choose to treat the other by offering the entire bill. This can be a thoughtful gesture to celebrate or express appreciation. In the end, who pays for a date should be a mutual decision based on personal values, financial situations, and based on a conclusion from an honest discussion between both individuals involved. So whether it's splitting the bill, taking turns, or embracing the traditional approach, what truly matters is the connection and understanding between two people on their journey towards building a meaningful relationship. So what are your thoughts on this topic? Go ahead and share your perspective in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more thought-provoking content. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remain blessed.